Okay, this is to show everyone that this is an iPhone 4. You can see there is the front facing camera. That's just a screen protector on the back and has a screen protector on the front. But you can clearly see it's an iPhone 4. We'll go into settings. General. About. And there you can see right there. It says version 4.2.1. Okay, so you can all clearly see this is an iPhone 4 and that it's running 4.2.1. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is you want to get the iOS 4.1 firmware uh, for your particular device. Uh, you want to go ahead and download that. Uh, the easiest place I've found to go is to this site right here, www.felixbruns.de slash iPod slash firmware. Uh, you can click over here where it says iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, Apple TV. Click on the drop down and you'll see that it has the devices labeled uh, iPhone, first gen iPhone 3G, 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 1G, so on and so forth. Okay, the one we want is the iPhone 4, 4.1. So you click on that and then you click download. Now, I'm not going to do this because I already have uh, saved this, but I just wanted to show you where you can get it. Now, you want to save this on your computer where you can find it. alright so the first thing I want to discuss is the notepad okay so on the notepad the first thing you want to do is you want to find your notepad mine is up here because I use it all the time you want to right click and choose run as administrator okay you can go ahead and leave that open the next thing you want to do is you want to go to file go to computer and then in this bar you want to go to C slash Windows slash System32 slash Drivers slash ETC slash Host. So you can see I already have it here. Once you do that, you want to scroll down and click on Notepad to open up the host file. Hit OK. The host file will open up, and at the very bottom, you want to put in this number 74.208.10. 249 space gs.apple.com okay and then just hit file and then save and then you can exit out of that now the reason why you do that is that tricks iTunes into thinking it's connected to the iTunes or Apple server when it's verifying the uh, uh, iOS software but it's really not it's connecting to uh, Saric or Cydia server and it's going to send it a fake message saying yes that when you're downgrading that that is the current firmware and it will allow you to downgrade okay so that's one step is doing the host file okay the second step and uh, another very important step is that you are going to want to check your Insidia and make sure that you have your SHSH blobs um, already saved okay and so now we're looking at the screen of my iPhone 4 you can see the time up up on the top you can see the date is the 28th so you know this is real it may take a moment for that to load and as you can see already the important thing you want to look for is your SHSH blobs. Now you can see that, like very religiously, I always back up my SHSH blobs to Cydia. You can do this with Tiny Umbrella. Uh, you can also do this with a program you can download from Cydia. It's called SHSHIT. Okay, so you've seen that we have our uh, 
host file set to look at Saric server so that way we can trick iTunes into thinking that 4.1 is the current version of the iOS you see my phone is an iPhone 4 and you've seen that my SHSH blobs are saved to Cydia okay alright so after you've downloaded the firmware the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure your iPhone is connected to your computer via the USB cable and then once it's connected you want to press and hold the button to slide it to power off and you want to power it off so you want it, your iPhone connected to your computer via the USB cable but you do want it powered off now don't turn it off and then plug it into your computer because all it's going to do is turn it right back on so plug it to your computer first open up iTunes and then once iTunes loads on your screen then you want to press and hold the power button and slide to power off uh, your iPhone okay and then what we are going to do is put the device into a uh, DFU mode okay so my iPhone 4 is connected to my computer via the USB cable and it's off and iTunes is running I'm going to go ahead and put the device into DFU mode you p hit the power button after about three seconds you hold down the home and the power button you wait about 10 seconds you release the power button and keep holding the home button you'll hear your computer make a ding sound and then on your screen you will see iTunes has detected a iPhone in recovery mode. You must uh, restore the iPhone, blah, blah, blah. So that's basically basically what we're going to do next. So you're in DFU mode because iTunes has recognized the device, but the iPhone is not actually on. So it's in DFU mode. If you see a Connect to iTunes logo come up on your iPhone screen, you're in recovery mode. You don't want to be in recovery mode. You want to be in DFU mode. okay so we put our iPhone into DFU mode and you can see that it says iTunes has detected an iPhone is in recovery mode you must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes you want to click OK now here's where you need to remember where you saved your firmware your iOS 4.1 firmware because what you want to do on Windows is you want to click shift and then click restore and then that is going to take you to find your firmware and like I said the one we want is for mine it's iPhone 4 I want 3 comma 1 4 dot 1 underscore 8 B 117 yours may be different if you're using an iPhone 3GS okay so you want to hit open choose restore you can see that it's extracting the software now <coughs> Verifying with Apple. and this is pretty much part of just the waiting so I apologize okay now it shows it's restoring the iPhone software and you can see the little progress bar is going and you can also see the progress bar on the iPhone is going across as well
Okay, so it's still restoring. It's going to verify again with the Apple server, or in this case with Cydia, because we've tricked it to make sure that the iOS software does match. So it's going through all its little security things right now. And then it will start to restore even more. Now it's verifying the restore and typically this is where we're going to get an error. The reason why we get an error is because the modem firmware with that's on 4.1, 4.2.1 and the different versions of iOS is usually different and because there's a mismatch between the normal modem firmware that's supposed to be with that particular iOS because there's a mismatch and iTunes says hey it's got this modem firmware but it's supposed to have this one because it has this version of iOS and gives an error and then it puts the device in recovery mode but we have a way to kick ourselves out of recovery mode mm -hmm. and there you go okay so it shows iPhone could not be restored mm -hmm. yeah, unknown error 1004 and on the screen you'll see that you're stuck in the recovery okay so what you want to do is go ahead and click OK iTunes is gonna do its thing don't mess with anything on iTunes don't restore, don't do anything. What we want to do is we want to go to, uh, you want to download Tiny Umbrella, uh, the instructions, how to get this, where to get it, uh, will be in the description. You want to run Tiny Umbrella. Okay. Uh, it's telling me a new version is available, but I'm not going to download it. Okay, over here it shows my phone is Ray's iPhone, and it says it's stuck in recovery. To kick your device out of recovery mode, click in, enter or exit recovery. I want to exit recovery. Very simple. And on the screen of your iPhone, you will see that it is going to start to boot up <clears throat> okay so my iPhone my iPhone has booted up it was in recovery mode and now I had to connect to iTunes screen and you're gonna see here in a second that it's going to connect to I, the iTunes store and it's going to verify uh, my activation and there we go it gives me the option to restore from a backup or uh, to set up as a new iPhone okay and on the screen of the iPhone it shows that it is now activated and I'm on the edit home screen I'll hit dismiss I'll go into settings I uh, will go into general, go into about, and you can see that we are back down to 4.1. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is we want to go ahead and jailbreak with Lime Rain because Lime Rain uh, was the latest jailbreak tool when 4.1 came out uh, Geo Hot released Lime Rain so you want to go ahead and download and then you want to run that I already have it downloaded so I'll click on that you can see it right here really clearly says make it rain so you click on that it's putting my device into recovery mode device went into recovery mode have to hold the home and the power key release the power button keep holding the home button it's in DFU mode
I don't need iTunes up, so we'll just close out of that. It's doing the exploit, telling me that it's done. I'll hit OK, and you can see on the screen of the iPhone that Lime Rain is doing its thing. Okay, so Lime Rain has done its thing, and I rebooted the iPhone, and here you will see where it says Lime Rain. You want to tap on that, and then it's going to say Available Servers. You want to go ahead and choose Cydia, and hit Install. Alright, so Cydia was installed and the iPhone screen had to respring. Okay, and usually what you have to do is sometimes you will have to turn it off and on. It said that it respring, and normally when it resprings, the uh, Cydia icon will show up. If it doesn't, just turn the iPhone off, turn it back on and then it should pop up on the screen Alright, so it's back on the main screen. And there you go. There's Cydia. Right there. So, we are back on 4.1 on the iPhone 4, as you can see right there. We have uh, Joe Broken with Lime Rain and installed Cydia, which you can see there. All you have to do is go into Cydia and go ahead and allow Cydia to update, and then any of the packages that you purchase with Cydia. Thanks to all the changes they've made, you should be able to auto load those. Uh, you can go back in because you see the Lime Rain icon is still there. You can go back into Lime Rain, and there is an option that says uninstall Lime Rain. You can uninstall it if you want. I personally do. You don't have to, your choice. Um, but like I said, pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, nothing really hard about it. I have done it several times, so for me, it may seem easier than you. But keep at it, follow the instructions, and I'm sure you'll get it. This is Ray from iPhone Repair. Thank you very much.